Hi, this is Bob from WAMS Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to create an assignment in the classwork section of your Google Classroom, and then how to have students complete that assignment on their iPads. So after you've created your Google Classroom, you're going to head to the Classwork tab, and at the top you're going to click on Create. Here you'll see that I already have topics and some materials under those topics, um, so please look at my previous video to learn how to set that up. I'm going to click on Create, and then click on Assignment at the top. Here I'm going to give it a title, and then instructions. And these instructions should not only be the requirements, but also should be how they are to complete the assignment. And now I'm going to add the template that they're going to use to complete the assignment. When I click on Add, you can add any number of files um, from your Google Drive or from your computer. You can also add websites and YouTube videos. Now the magic happens is when you uh, create it from your Google Drive. So these can either be static documents, like rubrics or instruction sets or a resource that they're supposed to reference in order to complete it, but I'm actually going to include a template that they are going to fill out on their side. So I'm going to look up my template. I believe I called it Oreo HyperDoc, like so. And right now you can see that it's only set for students to view the file, which means it's acting like a resource. They can reference it and that's all they can do with it. The other options are students can edit the file, which you'll rarely use unless it's a collaborative document. Uh, but the one you'll probably most often use in addition to view the file is making a copy for each student. So this is basically turning this Google document into a template or a handout. It's as though I photocopied this document and passed it out to the kids. And what this does is um, when students visit the assignment, that this document will now um, be appended with their name at the end. So say like Oreo HyperDoc, then name of student. And it gets shared with them automatically to their Google Drives. So all of the sharing is done for you. The renaming is done for you. And you can grade this assignment within Google Docs as well. So you don't have to leave the Google Drive, Google Doc ecosystem in order to grade the assignment. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what this looks like. So here I can assign it for my different classrooms. All of my students or just some of my students. I can set a point value or make it ungraded. I can set a due date. And also with the due time as well. And I can filter this under a topic, or I can create a topic on the fly. I can add a rubric, more about that later. I can also do originality reports, which means that you can check for plagiarism, and you can do this on up to three assignments per class. Okay, I'm going ahead and assign. I can also schedule this assignment or save it as a draft for later, but for now I'm ready. I'll assign the document. And so now you'll see that it appears underneath the assignments topic in my classwork section, like so. So students can visit my classwork and then go to this topic and see the assignment. They can also see it under the stream. So you can see that I posted a new assignment here on the Oreo HyperDoc. On the student side, I give this a refresh. Okay, they'll see it as well within the stream, like so. And so they can just simply select that document you see they also get a notification if they have the iPad app installed. Okay. And so here you see that here's the document, Oreo HyperDoc, with the instruction set. I can see my work, right? And you see here where under my work it has the name of the document, but their name is appended to it, right? I can add additional attachments. So if the student is supposed to also include a photo of something or a link to somewhere, they can add additional attachments there. They can also use the camera on their iPads to do something on the fly, right? Uh, files from their iPad, they can pick a photo from their camera. They can add a new document as well on the fly, but uh, this handout was already given to them. So all they need to do is simply open it up. Okay. And as a student, I can do one of two things. Either I, on the iPad, I can use the edit pencil here to write over the assignment. This works really well for PDFs or Google Docs here. Um, or I can open this up in Google Docs in order to type into it. So here I'll open it up in Google Docs. Okay, and now I can edit the document. All right. And so forth. And when I'm done, I can hit the checkbox. You can see I still at the top there have a link to go back to the classroom. And I can hit the X. And as a student, when I'm ready to turn it in, I just hit the turn in button and turn it in. I can also add private comments to the teachers here. So in case I need to make, alert them to something, I can do that. And I can see that the um, document has been turned in. 
You also see the student has the ability to unsubmit the document, okay? and they can resubmit it. So if they made a mistake, they can always unsubmit it and then resubmit it. All right, on the teacher side, over here in my classwork section, I can go to the assignment, and I can see that I have one person who turned it in. I see that it's John, and he said it's turned in. Right from within Google Classroom, I can open the file, and I can grade his work. So I can add comments, I can scroll through it. Okay, If I'm on my iPad, I can actually have a little edit pencil as well and actually mark up the uh, document using ink as well. Okay, when I'm ready, I can return this submission. I can also return multiple submissions. I can give them a grade as well. Right, I can add private comments. And return, I can return it back to John Doe. And as you can see on the iPad side and the student side, the students get notified when things have been posted and when things have been graded. On the student side, you can also see that under the Your Work section, since the teacher has graded this assignment, that you can see that they got the full point value and they also see that they have the private comment from the teacher there as well. If the teacher said, please resubmit this work, um, it needs additional formatting or whatever else, you see that there is an option for the student to resubmit work as well. So that's the workflow between the teacher and the student device. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at whitbird.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.